So the choice of means is very important in Aquinas' teaching about the nature of human action, but it is only understandable, intelligible, and actual in light of the intention of the end. So intending the end, that comes first, that's the foundation. If we don't have an end, a good chosen with a certain finality as an end, as a good end that we intend, we will not have uh, any choice of means between us and the end. So let us imagine that there's a doctor and the doctor's end is to restore health to a person. And there are many ways to do this. Some uh, could use surgery. Some could use medicine. And we would say in this case, if you have a sick person, that medicine or surgery would be means, instruments, a way to attaining the end of the restoration of health in a person, healing somebody. That's the end. So the will intends the end and chooses the means. And the will only chooses the means because of the end it intends. Means as means don't self-exist. Something is only a means in relation to an end. So in Aquinas's grammar, we might say, of human action, the end, the goal, the final good desired in this act is the principle of intelligibility for understanding other acts in the way toward the end, on the way toward the end, as means. And it's also the only reason why means exist. So if a doctor is not trying to heal somebody, we would not give them medicine and we would not perform surgery. So both in the nature of means, in their understandability, their intelligibility, and in their very existence, the existence of means, the end is predominant and the most important. So for all those who want to understand Aquinas, it's very simple about the human action, his theory of human action. We intend the end and we choose the means and means are only what they are, means because of an end. We do not choose ends, we do not intend means. This is Aquinas' clear teaching.